Hey everyone, okay, I'm gonna show you Asana. This is my favorite um, productivity tool. It's great for organizing. It's really helped me, even though I'm really a one-man band. Um, so first of all, before we actually dive into Asana, I thought it's important to show you the difference between an organization and a workspace. So when you sign up, if you have a professional email, so for example, I'm info at airpreneur.com.au, I can sign up as an organization. If you have an email address like sarahcoffee3 at bigpond.com.au, then that would be a workspace. Okay, so the difference is I thought I'd bring up the Asana guide just so I can explain to you because when you sign up, that can be a bit confusing for you. And so, let me have a look. Uh, here we go. So am I in a workspace or an organization? So that's here. Organization versus workspace. Organizations are based on having a dedicated company or business email domain. Anyone who signs up to Asana with your company's email domain will automatically join your company's organization as a member. Okay, use a workspace if you are using Asana for personal goals and tasks or for work if your company does not have a unique email domain. Okay, so it acts like a singular team. So just think of it that way. Let me show you how a workspace looks. So we'll go here, so workspaces, understanding workspaces. That should come up. Okay, so here it's got a comparison. So here you've got your Asana account, that's you. And it's split into two. So here's the organization. That's if you sign up with your company email address. And here is the workspace. If you sign up with your personal email address. Here is the company name. And it's got here design team. Okay. And here are the members of the team. And then the projects within that design team. Now over here with the personal email address, you create the workspace, freelance design is the name of the team, okay? You can only create one team with a workspace. And then within it, you can have members, okay, of the team and projects. So that's important to note. So you only have one team in a workspace. In an organization, you can have various teams. You can create a design team, marketing, executive, big goals, you know, finance, whatever you want it to call, you can have different teams for all those types of things, whereas a workspace you can't. Now, I thought I would clarify that. That's very important before we start. Okay, so now I thought I'd show you how my um, Asana page looks, okay? So if we'll go to Asana. Here we go. Now, I love Asana so much. I actually did a course on it. This lady has a course on Asana, on getting yourself started, because I found Asana quite, you know, to do it properly, quite overwhelming. So I really wanted to do a course. And plus, I don't have a lot of time. So I thought if I do this course, I will get to know Asana really well and really understand everything that it offers and start using it. So I've started. I did the course. And for example, so here's your home. Here's my task. So I've only really just started putting stuff in there. Here, um, content create, uh, so Facebook group, create content by each Saturday. So I've put that in there and it will be, it will come up uh, weekly because I've asked it to be repeating. And then your inbox, which um, I haven't actually really used that much yet. Portfolios, goals, so empty but that's just to show you what it looks like and now because i signed up with a person uh, with a work email address info at airpreneur.com.au i actually can create teams even though i'm a one-man band this is what i've decided to do because you know eventually you always hope to expand your teams so my first one is sales and marketing and we'll have a look here uh marketing and admin now here it shows you in a list view. So you've got your overview and then here your list view. I don't like this view. I actually like board view, so board. 
okay and you can really put whatever you want in here so this is just what i did through the course she showed what we should do like what how we should set it up and for me i've created like design and for me that would be branding but you might interpret it some other way so i just wanted to show you so for example branding colors um here so i wanted this to be everything so whatever i think of in my business I want a designer to include that. So for example, if I think of anything with my branding, it needs to be in here. So Airpreneur, what are my uh, style colors? So here we go. It's just loading. Here we go. So there's my brand colors. There's the fonts that I'm using and uh, that's the logos, okay? So you can see that everything I do with Airpreneur should be in here. I created some principles, you know, connected, professional, integrity, consistent, brand archetype, you know. So I'll, I'll explain more what Airpreneur is all about in another time. But yeah, I, I this is the brand archetype that I thought, you know, I think we fit in as a social type, want to connect with others, the regular guy, gal, goal to fit in, wants their customers to feel a sense of belonging, um, traits, casual, down to earth, that type of thing. So I think there's like 12 archetypes and that's the one that I chose for Airpreneur. Um, so here yeah, I've put in some, need some photos taken, you know, brand personality, passionate, supportive, caring, and my font, um, Montserrat. So I've gone through and done that. So here, important info and links. Google Drive. I've put all the links into these, you know, platforms. So I never forget. So one day, if I think, oh God, what's if someone's asked me what's my link for my social media for Instagram? Here we go. There it is. Okay, Facebook is the same. Google Drive. I've got my link in there. All that stuff. So it's all here so eventually if i get someone else in here to help me everything will be in there that they need to know then you've got um then through this course you know create strategy uh so you know i've started things like pricing models so when i create the airpreneur platform for courses i want to know how should the pricing model look that's a really important part of creating a platform you know, is your pricing model and also the platform itself. So two key factors that I needed to consider with the Airpreneur course uh, platform is pricing. Um, there's just other things here. So like if you have clients already, um, you can put in calls booked, you know, if you need to invoice, waiting on payment, that type of thing. You know, she's really gone in depth with this. So I was really impressed. So that was sales and marketing. She suggested another one to be like operations. So let's go to the board view and here, you know, responding to email, set up email, team meetings, improvements, admin, that type of thing. So it really goes really in depth with Asana. So you can see it's like your one-stop shop for organization to ensure your business, you don't miss a thing in your business. And I think that's the key um, point with this. And then you've got your business hub. Okay, important information, funnel links, affiliate links, training videos. So I have everything set up, ready to go as my business grows and I start getting more involved with different things. So yeah, I just wanted to show you, that's the type of thing you can have with Asana. Um, and you can color code everything. So here, uh, I've color coded. So sales and marketing, when I do anything with an orange tag, it's marketing and admin strategies yellow that type of thing facebook group steps i'm going to remove that part and make that uh yeah i'm going to make that something else so yeah i just thought this is um a really uh great platform for organization i, I really love it um another one here big goals so here you know, you can have your yearly goals here. So I haven't actually started that, but yeah, you can see, you know, how in depth you can get with um, Asana. So pretty much, I just wanted to show you, first of all, what Asana has to offer. So you can, 
you know, have a look, think about it. And then over the week or coming two weeks, I'll do uh, different tech tutorials for you to help you get set up with Asana. I love it. And yeah, I hope you do too.